Hey you guys, so this is gonna be my first vlog, which feels so weird, but I figure I might as well because I'm gonna be in New York for three months this summer, which is absolutely crazy to me, but so exciting at the same time. I had a work opportunity that I just could not give up. So I figure while I'm out here, I would do some vlogs for you guys, and I'll probably break it up monthly just because I'm gonna be working pretty much all throughout the week, and then on the weekends, I'll be doing fun stuff that I will want to show you guys. So this is the first of my many um, adventures. I think right now I'm in the Catskills like park or whatever you wanna call it. I'm on my way to see um, the tallest, I believe I'm correct on this, the tallest waterfall in New York. And I'm, I'm probably mispronouncing it, but I think it's called the Catterskill Falls. Um, ooh, a bug. <laughs> I'm not an outdoorsy person, but I'm really trying here. Um, but no, I'm on my way to see the falls. So I figure I'd just bring you guys along and show you everything that I see on this trip. So I parked my car up the hill and they have like special parking for you. So you're not parking on the side of the street. And to the falls observation deck, it's supposed to only be like 0.2 miles. Uh, but then there's different part of the falls that you can go to, like the lower falls and then just different spots to see it. So I'm gonna try to hit all of them this morning. It's early, I think it's like 10, maybe not even that late, I don't know. I've got a box of donuts in my backpack. So once I get settled somewhere with a view, I'm gonna snack on one of those. Um, but yeah, let's go see this waterfall. Okay, that was seriously like the shortest walk ever. I'm already here, if you guys can see behind me. Isn't that so pretty? Here, I'll get it off of my face so I can really show you. Okay, I just got done taking some selfies. Now I'm ready to go see some other parts of the falls. I saw some people like standing down there, so catch your girl going. I never realized how creepy hiking is when you're by yourself. It's all still cool, but like you just can't help but wonder, you know? So there's a bridge up there, and then I found this like little creek thingy that leads obviously to the bed of the waterfall. Big tree down. And I'm not gonna like walk in there because there's a bunch of signs up saying that like people have died here and not seen in the past. So we're just not even gonna try to go down there. So I'm about to walk on this cool little bridge. It's just going over that little creek that I just showed you guys a second ago. It's all down there. One really cool thing about this place is there's little chipmunks running around everywhere and they're the cutest little things. Um, I have personally never seen a chipmunk in real life before because we just have squirrels where I'm from, but <laughs> that is one good thing. So like I said before, we just went to the Falls Viewing Platform, that's where I was just a second ago with that awesome view, and now we're going to go to the, well, besides that last one, I'm not, not, I'm not hiking 26 miles, but we will probably go to at least like the first two, probably the first three on this list, so let's go. So I'm almost to the lower falls. I'm about to walk down these sketchy little stairs. I'm in the white converses, which is really stupid. But I didn't have any other shoes. So the falls are over there. You can see them through the trees, but there's just like a bunch of stairs now. And that hike was kind of treacherous, to be honest. Like you gotta be safe while you're doing that. Cause I just about tripped, or not tripped, but slipped on a route and it was terrifying all these steps. Look at all these chickens. Okay, I just got to the bottom of the falls and they are so pretty. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Alright, I'm gonna try to take some selfies and then go on to the next part of this trail. Started walking back up the stairs and I've got to stop like my heart rate. I feel like my heart is about to actually explode. No one ever believes me. I'm gonna say I have a heart condition, but this is 
actually crazy. But hey, we have a pretty view while I die. It's fine. So I was down there before I went up like a third of the stairs, and then I'm just walking up this old path, and I can see the top of these waterfalls. And then over here, y'all look. It is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Y'all, this is so unbelievably pretty. Can you see this? Let me get out of it. It's so beautiful up here. And like the view that I have right now, looking at these trees, is so beautiful. I am so glad that this is like the first adventure that I've done while in New York. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely gorgeous. This is the view that I have right now standing up here where I just showed you guys the falls. It is so pretty. And then this, the falls are running down to where the people are down there. So looking pretty. Okay, I definitely found a good spot to snack on my donuts. Oh my gosh, they're all crumbled. They were in my bag. <laughs> but seriously, what a better view to eat pumpkin at. I'm trying to figure out what type of animal this came out of because this is not any dog poo. This looks like bear. I bet you it's a bear. Okay, I just got back to the car after hiking. Um, I did the like observation little deck thingy to see the falls and then I went to the lower falls part and in total I just looked um, I've got an Apple watch so it tells me all this but um I looked and it said that I've walked a little over two miles so that's not bad at all um, and I walked around a little bit more than the average person on that trail so it's not a bad um, it's not a bad hike coming back though is kind of a struggle. Um, I am not in good shape. I do not work out. I don't do any of that. Um, my heart hates me. So I have trouble going up like inclines and stuff, especially stairs. So my heart rate got pretty high, but I just, my body just hates me. So the average person would be able to do it. It is a steep climb back up, but I mean, grandpa and grandma were out there doing it. So if they can do it, y'all can do it. But that was seriously amazing. I am so glad that I did that. Um, but now I have to figure out what I'm going to do for the rest of the day because it's almost 12 o'clock. I have the rest of the day and I don't know what to do. So I'll be seeing you guys later. So this right here is called Catterskill Clove. If I'm pronouncing this wrong, I don't feel so stupid, but it's so pretty. Everything here is just so gorgeous. I kind of like want to walk down there, but... I know me, I will totally, totally fall. But I just had to show you guys how beautiful this is. So I'm about to go, I'm about to go on the Hudson River Skywalk. Um, there's a bridge going into Hudson, New York. Uh, it's like a toll bridge. So I'm about to walk across it. It goes over the Hudson River. So I should be able to get some good views. So let's go. So I'm on walking across the bridge right now got the river obviously right here and this huge bridge that's super long I feel like I just so I walked all the way to the end of it and when I got to the end I turned around and started filming and I felt like I was walking for forever so I'm excited to see how long I actually just walked to the end of this bridge but it's so pretty Apparently they built like falcon boxes on this bridge just to try to save the endangered falcons. I was looking for them, but I don't see any, so I'm not sure where they're at. But that's just a little fun fact about this bridge. There's somewhere on here, but I don't know where. So this Walmart in New York does not have the bread that I like, and I don't know what to do about it. How do I adult? What's a good bread? I've eaten the same one since before I can remember. Hello, it is June 8th, it is Saturday. And yesterday, I meant to tell you guys, so I did the falls hike and then I did that little walk across the bridge. There, from the parking for the bridge all the way down to the end of the bridge and back was two miles. Two miles. And I was wondering why I was so tired. Um, but yeah, it took me almost an hour because I was like stopping and taking pictures and stuff. Almost an hour to walk that stupid bridge. But it was fun. It was, it was worth it. But I'm here 
a couple towns over for their town's flag day. Um, so there's supposed to be like food vendors, there's supposed to be a parade and everything, so. I parked kind of far away because I have a fear of parallel parking, so I didn't want to park downtown. So I'm kind of, um, not very close, but I just saw some people doing the same thing that I'm doing and they parked over here and they're walking down with chairs and stuff. So I'm not the only one doing this, but I'm excited to see what this parade is. There's like a bunch of people like downtown right now, so it must be a pretty big deal, but we're gonna find out. It is such a beautiful day out today. Like, it's unbelievable. It's, gosh, I'm sorry. I just love New York. forgetting that I'm supposed to be filming for this vlog. I'm not good at this. Maybe with some practice I'll get a little bit better. But um, I'm just in this, uh, I think it's called the Hudson Riverfront Park. So uh, there's like all the food trucks and all the food vendors behind me. And then in front of me, I have this beautiful view of the Hudson River. And um, I got, I should have done this before I started eating it, but I got a chicken um, Philly cheese thingy. And then I just got my red bull. But it is literally so good. And the guy that I bought it from, he's like, oh, what part of the south are you from? Because you are definitely not from here. But the parade got over a couple minutes ago and I just ran over here because I was so hungry. But I like used all my cash just now and I don't know if these other places take uh, cards. So I gotta find somewhere to get some cash. I'm not used to carrying cash on me, but New York is killing me. Just so the world knows, I just use a porta potty. It's disgusting, and I'm getting out of here. now Sunday it's actually Father's Day and my mother's birthday but no it's Father's Day and I haven't uh, vlogged all weekend so that's my bad on my part I'm just not used to vlogging and I completely forgot even though I did several things this weekend my friend Sky actually flew in 
uh, to come visit me in New York. So I've really just been hanging out with him all weekend and it's been good to see a familiar face. Really good. Um, but I just dropped him off at the airport and I just drove over here to Target because I haven't been in a Target in weeks now ever since I've gotten to New York because where I've been staying there isn't one for like an hour away. So I came to Target just to kind of ease my loneliness a little bit. I love Target. I just, I would just walk around the aisles. But, um, I feel bad I didn't vlog much this weekend, which is completely my bad. I'm just not used to vlogging. Um, I saw a lot of cool sights this weekend that I wish I had gotten on camera. And I actually think I might go back to those sights today if it stops raining at some point, just to show you guys what all I saw this weekend, because I did have a really, really great time. Um, I spent uh, all of Friday I was off of work and so we explored Albany New York and it was a lot of fun and then the rest of the time I was just showing him around where I'm staying at now so it was a good weekend I'm sad that I'm all alone now though but it's okay I was just given these donuts by the people that I'm staying with and they're apple cider donuts she says that New York is known for them, so I'm really hoping that they're good. <laughs> Before Sky left, he legit took a one bite of one and put it back in here. So we're just gonna, ooh, crumbly. We're gonna taste it. We're gonna see if this is good or not. I've had something like this before back in North Carolina, but I wasn't a very, very big fan of them, so hopefully these are better. Oh yeah, these are way better. Yep, I'm gonna eat these. But just a little update, I absolutely love New York. I'm actually thinking about making a whole video dedicated to what I do for a living and what to expect if you take a position like I did here in New York. Um, because it's, I think it's very, very interesting and I think that if you're gonna go into the business that I am in, it could be a helpful video for you if you were to see it. And in case you guys were wondering what I do for a living, um, that video could show you guys and help you guys understand everything that I do because when I tell people what I do sometimes they don't know what the heck I'm talking about so I might actually make a whole video dedicated to that but for now I'm gonna run into Target because I have to go to the bathroom so badly I did not go before we left so I'll be catching up with you guys in probably an hour or two and show you guys what I'm gonna do for the rest of today. All right, just left Target. I didn't even go to the bathroom while I was in there. I do. I just got so distracted by everything, so I still really need to go. I wasn't even gonna get this. Um, I really just went in there to walk around to waste time, but went in there, didn't find anything to really buy, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get myself some Starbucks because I've been craving it anyway. So I go up there, put in my order, and I open up my wallet and what do I find in there? A gift card for Starbucks that my best friends from back home got me for my going away present. So thanks you guys, you helping a girl save some money. But my go-to drink is the chai latte with soy milk. I usually get it iced, but it's just dark and gloomy and rainy today. So I wanted something warm, but I just drove over. I'm still just not ready to go back yet. So I drove over to this mall in Albany it's the Crossgates Mall, and it's supposed to be, like, really big and really good, so. There's really not that many cars here. So, but it is Sunday, so, I don't know. We'll see. But I'm gonna go in there, try to not find anything, and then I'm gonna try to find my car when I come back out here in this gigantic parking lot. So, I'll see you guys later. This one, but it's legit like completely secret. So, no go. It is now Tuesday. It is my day off for this week, and I decided to go hiking today, even though it's totally raining outside and it's probably gonna be so muddy out there. But I wanted to do it, so I had my mindset. So, here I am. There's only two other cars out here, which is honestly two more than I expected for a Tuesday, and it's raining, but 
at least I won't be alone on the trails. I am here, where am I? I think this is called the High Falls Conservation Area, and it's supposed to have the highest waterfalls in Columbia County. So I think it's only like 150 feet though, so it's not gonna be as tall as Catterskill Falls, obviously, but it's still supposed to be very, very beautiful. And so I am excited to see these waterfalls. Um, but yeah, it is supposed to also be a pretty easy hike. I think it's like one and a half miles um, as a loop, so it's not going to take me long at all, like maybe two hours max, depending on what pictures I decide to take. But I am hoping to get some good shots today. I'm not really sure. I don't have anyone to take pictures for me, so like selfies are going to have to do because this tripod that I bought is absolute garbage and I have to go return it. So I will be doing that sometime at some point and be getting a new one but yeah so that's my situation right now but I'm gonna head out start hiking and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me and we're gonna see what we can see like I said this is High Falls Conservation Area and it looks I mean you can follow any of these trails really but I'm gonna follow the red one because that's gonna be taking us to view the falls right here so Looks like you take the green one and then it branches off to the red one. So that's what we're going to be doing and it shouldn't take me long at all. But yeah, this is just the little information thing when you first get here. And parking is just here behind me in a nice parking lot. That's where we just signed in at and then this is just the start of the trail right here. It looks kind of spooky when it's dark and rainy out. And here are my boots. I'm so dumb. <laughs> I really need to get some real shoes that I can walk in besides Converse's and rain boots apparently. There's actually a stream down here. But I'm going to keep on hiking and show you guys some cool stuff once I get to it. It's that same stream and then I'm about to walk across this little bridge right here. I'm just going to follow the uh, green markers until I reach the red markers and there should be signs um, in some places too telling us which way to go for the falls because that is like the main attraction for this hike. I whipped out the umbrella because it's really starting to rain um, but I hope that it's picking up on camera. There is organ music and I'm in the middle of the woods. I'm just a little bit spooked right now. So I had been walking for the last like couple, like three or four minutes and to the left of me, I thought that I was hearing like a road down below um, off of the trail, but the whole time like it was the waterfall, but I couldn't tell from like the rain, but I'm like here and it is amazing. I just rolled up on the waterfall. I'm really hoping that I can get closer than this. Um, I do have to say, even though this is smaller than Catterskill, I think that this is a lot prettier than Catterskill Falls just from like a viewing standpoint. This is so pretty. I really want to try to get closer, so that's what I'm about to do. Alright, so this was the same view I just had for you guys, but I just turned around and this is like underneath a rock. And I low-key like really- Oh, there's a frog! Like, no one else is here. No other cars are here. Um, it's obvious someone forgot it. Do you guys think I should open it? Well, I was hoping to hike further to see, like, the base of the falls, but it says no trail access beyond this point. So, I guess I'll follow the rules, even though that kind of sucks. So, yeah, that view that we just had is the only one that we're going to have. Which kind of sucks for pic picture purposes, but... I mean, if it's dangerous there, then I guess I understand. But I'm going to go back to the spot where I just was. And um, I didn't open up that notebook, but I think I'm going to. I was a little scared to, like, reach in there because the frog. I didn't want it to, like, jump out at me. But I'm just going to go for it because I'm very interested in what that is. I just realized that I put it next to this weird little thing, but I'm going to open it. <laughs> I've decided. Very glad that I opened it because you're supposed to open it. Um, everyone that visits, I guess, writes in it.
I just wrote my note in the notebook. So if you want to know what I said, you have to come visit these waterfalls and see what I wrote yourself. <laughs> I just finished taking some pictures by the falls that I hope are cute and I'm just like eating the donut. But um, on my way back, I decided to follow the blue trail stickers and it has led me actually to this really, really pretty stream down below to the left of the falls. So I'm gonna show you guys that. I really wish that my rain boots were taller than this because I really just wanna walk across. Um, but they're only like barely ankle high and they have that like little mesh thing right there so I can't really walk across. I'm just going to walk along the uh, blue trail and see how far it will take me plus how far it will get me to the falls. I just put my hair up because it was driving me insane. There's like a bunch of bugs out here. Um, but I'm so glad that I followed the blue trail because I found the base of the waterfall. And I'm super, super excited about that. Um, like I said, I do wish I had different shoes because I want to like walk across there and get up by it, but I just don't have the shoes for it. If it was warmer, I would take my boots off and my socks off and just walk barefoot, but it's not warm enough for that. Just a little recap of what I just did. I started at the beginning of the trail, obviously. <laughs> and then I walked for like two or three minutes until I saw the red trail markers on my right hand side off of the green trail. So I took the red trail markers and that led me, after like five to 10 minutes, it led me to that first view I had of the waterfall. So like up above where we could see the whole thing. That red trail marker took me back there. So once I was done there taking pictures, I turned around and I took the green trail back and after walking a couple minutes on the green trail on my right hand side going back, I saw the blue trail marker. And so I decided to follow that down to the little stream that I saw below. And as I kept walking, I did find the base of the falls. So that was awesome. And I took some more pictures there as well. And so yeah, overall, that was a super, super easy walk. Um, I'm actually gonna check right now to see how far of a walk that really was. I'm gonna say that was about a mile and a half walk like there and back. Uh, so yeah, it wasn't bad at all. Walking back up the blue trail is a little bit of an incline, so my heart was kind of not liking me for that, but it wasn't terrible. It was nothing like Catterskill. Uh, this was also really easy to do in the rain as well. There weren't, I didn't slip on anything. Um, I would not do Catterskill Falls in the rain or if it's been raining at all because you, you're gonna slip. But here, it wasn't, it wasn't bad at all. Super easy hike. Um, but yeah, I would definitely come back here. I saw a couple of cool things. I really wanted to see some animals. I've never seen like a beaver in real life, so I kind of want to see a beaver out in the wild. But anyway, it was a really, really fun hike, but I'm going to keep you guys updated on what I do the rest of this week. I do work the next couple days and I'm on call this week, but this weekend I should be able to find something fun to do, but we're gonna see and I'll see you guys later. It is Saturday now and I had plans of waking up at like 5 a.m. this morning and going to see the hot air balloons launch in Saratoga Springs. My alarm went off this morning and I was so tired and I just turned it off and went run, and went right back to sleep. Um, but tonight they're doing like a glow balloon thing launch so I'll try to go to that so I've just been kind of wasting some time here in Saratoga Springs um, I just filmed a makeup video for you guys um, just a get ready with me how I get ready on a daily basis that sort of thing that I've been doing recently so that will be going up probably before this vlog goes up it's actually probably gonna go up like tomorrow yeah tomorrow um, but I'm about to, I did walk around Target for a little bit earlier. I'm about to go into this mall. I'm not really sure, Wilton Mall or something? I'm not really sure what exactly it's called, but I'm about to go in there, just walk around, waste some time until tonight when I can go back to the fairgrounds and see some hot air balloons. So, I probably won't do much vlogging in here unless I find something cute that I want to show you guys, but I will definitely be vlogging a little bit more this weekend, but um, right now I'm not doing anything very interesting, so my life is pretty boring, but I will see you guys later. Okay, I have to be honest, it's basically the middle of July now, and I went back and was trying to edit the vlog for June, and I realized I never even got to film an outro uh, clip for that video, so here I am finishing up that video. 
Uh, the last thing I was talking about in that video, though, was being in Saratoga Springs and wanting to see the hot air balloons. Long story short, I never did get to see the balloons. The weather did not cooperate the rest of that weekend, and they never did get to do another launch. So that kind of sucked. There was nothing really to show you guys. Um, but I worked all the rest of that next week, uh, the last week in June. I had that Friday off. So I drove back home to North Carolina to see my family and uh, particularly my mom got to visit with her, see how she was doing, just check in back home in North Carolina. So that was really, really great that last weekend in June. And then I drove right back to New York that, I guess it was Sunday, cause I worked Monday. Uh, drove all the way back to New York. It's like a 12 hour drive from where um, I live at in, New in North Carolina. So it's really not that bad. It's a little trip, but it's definitely not bad. But I drove back to New York and that's really all I did for the rest of June. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this. I know that it was just kind of pieced together randomly and I know it's not the best vlog you've ever seen, but I really do look forward to filming more for you guys. Um, hopefully July's vlog goes a little bit better than this one, but if you guys enjoy this video, please let me know down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any other videos that I post and I will see you guys later.